you're going to want to keep in mind when working with complicated regions that integrals are additive and therefore you can compute centers piece by piece and then average them together at the end. Let's see how this works in the following example. Let's say that we have three square plates that are welded together along edges. So each plate is a unit square, one in the xy plane, one in the xz plane, one in the yz plane, and they all meet together with their corners at the origin. Let's say that the density, rho, varies. Rho is equal to x plus y plus z. Now there's no one double integral that can compute the center of mass in this case. So what we're going to do is break it up into each square plate and do a double integral over that unit square to get its individual center of mass, then average them together. Let's begin by computing the mass of each square plate. They're all the same by symmetry. Let's say, I don't know, let's take the xy plane and look at the mass of that unit square in there. That is the integral as x and y go from 0 to 1 of the density of x plus y plus z. Now, of course, we can get rid of the z because in the xy plane, z is equal to 0. I integrate x plus y. That's um, x squared over 2 times y plus y squared over 2 times x, 0 to 1. That's 1 half plus 1 half. That's 1. Super easy. Now, to compute the center of mass of each square plate, what do I do? I have to divide by the mass. That's, that's equal to 1. Then I have to consider um, x bar and y bar let's say, in the xy plane. Those are both going to be equal by symmetry. So let's compute x bar. I need to integrate x times quantity x plus y plus z. Now, again, z is equal to 0. So what do I do? I integrate um, x squared plus xy. You can do that, and you can verify that you get 1 third plus 1 fourth. That equals 7 twelfths. That means that each square plate has center of mass at 7 twelfths, 7 twelfths, and 0, where for the different plates, I'm permuting the coordinates. So for example, in the xy plate, z bar is equal to 0, and x bar and y bar are 7 twelfths. Now, to get the center of mass of the entire object, the conglomerate, what I need to do is take the average of the centers of masses of the individual plates. In this case, x bar, y bar, and z bar are going to be equal, and they're going to be one third, the average, of 7 twelfths plus 7 twelfths plus zero, yielding a final answer of 7 eighteenths for the coordinates, for each coordinate of the center of mass of this object.